I've just been creating a mosaic where I've been using mirror and I've also been using stained glass that's been mirrored. Now whenever you're using those type of materials with a reflective backing on it's always wise to use a neutral curing adhesive so that reflective backing is not affected by the adhesive you use. Now you can use silicon but not all silicons are neutral curing so you need to ensure that the actual tube states that it's neutral curing. Now I'm not a big silicon fan for a couple of reasons. A because they have hazard labels on them and they generally give off uh, whilst they're curing they generally give off fumes and also from the solvents. The other thing is I do find that they can be messy at times but they do come in handy for certain situations. So what I tend to do is not use the silicons because of this hazard label but not only that because as I said I find them messy to use but I tend to use an SMX polymer. Now these SMX polymers are by Sudel. Now there are other brands that have other polymer ranges not necessarily SMX but that's fine they will probably do a very similar thing. But what I like about these is that they are solvent free. Now in saying that that doesn't mean that they don't contain other chemicals that you need to be aware of. So you still need to read the manufacturer's safety data sheets and the technical data sheets before buying it so that you can still take the necessary safety precautions uh, before you use it. Now they are easily read and they are usually available on the manufacturer's website so that you can go and have a look at that before you make a purchase so that you have an informed decision before making a purchase. Now I really only use them uh, for certain situations. If I'm doing a say an outdoor mosaic and it's going to be vertical or something like that I only use them for certain situations. I don't use them all the time. I, I prefer to use thin set if it's going outside but of course for mirror you should be using a neutral curing adhesive where certainly with thin set it's not. Now when I'm using this and I certainly didn't come up with this idea but when I'm using uh, silicon I do put it into a syringe. Now I find that certainly helps with me using it because otherwise I would get into an awful mess. Now this particular one I'm using is a 30 mil and I buy this from a horse place, a, a, a place that sells horse supplies. Now I'll open this up, being very careful not to cut myself. And like I say, I didn't come up with this idea, I don't know who did, uh, but I will show you something that I haven't seen before that I think I came up with. Now it's very easy, you just pull that out like that. Now this has already been used and I have one of these saver tube caps on and I find these work really well. So I just put it in here, close that up a bit and I just push it out a little bit. Now I'm going to put it in this tube and I put it directly above it and the reason being is that when you push out the silicon, now this is how I do it, it's not the only way, this is just the way that I do it and it works fine for me. Now if you do it on the side like that the silicon is going to stick to the side and you won't get much in it but I put it directly above like that and I just push it out and hopefully you'll be able to see that and I just keep going and that's about all you want and then I just undo that, unlock that and I put this into back into it and I just push it down, not that it oozes out yet, we don't want it coming out that bottom just yet and then all I do is I take this one out because I want it to seal this cap, put this cap back on, so I just screw that back on there. Now another way that you can actually get the SMX polymer into the syringe is to use one of these nozzles. Now you can just put the nozzle on the end there, put this into the gun and then push the polymer into the actual syringe and you'll, put, you'll be able to put a lot more into it because you'll be able to get the nozzle further in. However I do find there's a couple of issues with that and that is that unless you have quite a few of these nozzles the contents, the polymer in the nozzle can dry out and if you're filling up the syringe it's going to take you a lot longer to actually use that which means there's more chance of it drying out in here.
and you can add a nail or you can add a screw into the end and that will help slow the process down but I find that doesn't work really all that well for me it might work well for you but not for me you can of course cut that nozzle further down and that means that you can then push the actual contents into the syringe a bit further if this first bit was to dry out cut it off and you've still got a bit more in here to go so you're pretty well right but you still need quite a few of these nozzles now if you have those nozzles around that's not an issue the other thing is too that the more you put into this syringe the more that this plunger is going to be further out which means that you're going to have to have your hand or your thumb extended out further to push in now that could be a bit uncomfortable for you I'm not sure it depends on the size of your hands but I just find doing it the way that uh, I just did it before works really really well for me but if you're happy to use the uh, nozzle and have this uh, plunger further out that's fine that's a good way to go then in that particular case just put a just tighten a slight amount you don't need too much now what I do with this is that you can apply you can apply this directly on to your mosaic and that gives you quite good control but also what you can do is if you find that you need to have a bit of a longer area on it I just get a piece of this tubing now this is just irrigation tubing and uh, for those people in Australia you can get it at Bunnings and it's very very cheap and I just cut off a piece like that and I put it over the top and then it just gives me a longer area to pushing it out like that and it's done now what I also do and again I didn't come up with this technique I don't know who did uh, but I know it's been around for quite some time is if you want to apply a piece of tessera onto that you would just put put that down this is just a pencil and you can use a piece of dowel thin dowel whatever you want with a bit of blue tack on it and you just pick it up like that and you put it into the silicon and push down and it's done you don't have to get your hands covered in silicon because you don't want to even though this is not a silicon this product works similar to a silicon but it's not a silicon now the other thing I do is when I have finished I squeeze the SMX polymer out and I wipe it on a bit of a tissue or something like that and I just go like that and that will keep for a day or two it won't keep for a long time but I find when I'm working with this for the next day you can't reuse this black end because that has now got the polymer in it and certainly that's not going to push out the next day so all I do is I just cut another piece of tubing if I'm going to want to use that pull that off and put that on like that and I either use that and squeeze the polymer out again putting it where I want it to but if I don't want to use this tubing I can just apply it down onto my substrate like that and then put whatever I'm using on it uh, the mirror onto it and then say I finish for the night I can just get another piece of this this kind of seals it put it on the end there push it out to the end wiping it making sure that it's covered the whole end because we want to um, seal it like that and then all I do is just put it aside and it's ready for me to go the next morning I then take that off throw that away and I can then apply it like that so I find that really does work for me like I say this is not the only way this is just my way of doing it and I don't know who came up with the original syringe idea uh, but that was certainly really good and also the original blue tack I've been using that for a number of years the blue tack but that's that idea has been around for quite some time and so is the syringe idea and I know there are a few artists using those the syringe and the blue tack and it works quite well for them I try and avoid using silicon and I'd prefer to use the SMX polymer but that's what I tend to do oh just before I go I just thought I'd mention that when you have used your almost all of your silicon or your SMX polymer in that tube what you can do is just take the plunger out refill your tube back up put the plunger back in again 
and then you're good to go. You don't have to buy a new syringe every time. But this is just a cost effective way uh, and certainly a good way if you're going to be using anything like a silicon type product or an SMX polymer type product. So anyway, I hope that video has helped you. I hope you've taken something away from it. If you have any comments, put them down in the bottom of the comment section. Uh, you may have a better idea on using silicon or SMX polymer uh, instead of a syringe. Put your thoughts down below in the uh, bottom of the comment section on the YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy.